Research Center study shows nearly four in 10 millennials have at least one tattoo. So do one third of Gen Xers. A market research firm says tattoos are on track to become more than a billion dollar business by 2020. How you doing? My name is Renee Soto. I've been tattooing for about 30 years. I've tattooed Chinese gangs from Chinatown, gangs in LA, a lot of bloods, a lot of crips. I love Japanese woodblock print. You know, I love that style of art. And, um, you know, it's, 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 to, it's to rebel against the establishment. And Japanese woodblock print tattoos came about because that's how they labeled their people in society of who went to jail. So only criminals got their bodies tattooed. I was diagnosed with lupus. So lupus is an autoimmune disease, so it's basically, it basically, it basically weakens my immune system and my cells attack my good cells. The power of your mind, that I am power, which I have on my neck. And I remember she was like, why did you put that on your neck? But to me, it's like a remembrance of that, how strong your mind is through word sound power. You can achieve whatever you want. Uh, it's a funny story. Uh, I met this white guy in jail. Been in and out of jail all my life. Uh, since I was young, my youth, I was doing very bad. Always went in and out of jail. And, uh, you know, I was going through a lot back then. I was kind of like in, you know, like a, a fuck the world mentality. That's why I got the fuck cancer and fuck lupus tattoos. The first major artist that I tattooed, I would say De La Soul. This is my evolution leg, so I have the skull of humans, uh, you know, evolving. Some shit I can't explain. Pac was a genius. But actually, Pac just diagnosed it. You see what I'm saying? These, the elements already existed. Pog just put a name on it. 